I'm Nino Crudele. And I'm working in SolidSoft Reply as integration specialist. Nice company, good fellow. Some of them are here. Okay, I arrested. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, so I'm really pleased to be here for the third time. So um, because uh, this is a really nice event. For I think. Uh, for the first thing, what I would like from you, because I want that, please give me this gift to me, just a big clap to Bistock 360 team for all of this organization, guys. Please. This is uh, this event uh, is awesome. Okay, really good organization. So Sarvana, really good job. <coughs> so I'm Microsoft. Uh, I'm Microsoft uh, MVP. So I need to uh, turn off my phone. Okay, I am Microsoft MVP, and eight years. I love the family. This is my second family. You know, and uh, yes, I'm. Bistock specialist, and working in integration things since, uh, I don't know, 20 years and so on. And I like to enjoy the MVP. The MVP program, you have to check about the MVP program. If you want to join us in the MVP program, do that. It's a very good opportunity for you. MVP is not about high technology specialist. It is also about uh, funny, because we are friends. <laughs> And we like to join together and drink and so on. I'm a quiet person, <laughs> OK? <laughs> this is what I like to do normally in, during my free time, so in kayaking and so on. And also, I like to join with my children, no? You know, I like skateboard. Do you think it's normal? 49 years old. <laughs> OK, come on. <laughs> This is quite strange. I am the person who did the NOS ID. Okay, now is Bistock 360 product. I'm really pleasure about that. And also, I am one of the team, the member team about the Bistock crew. So we start organizing a lot of events inside Europe, everywhere, and just uh, using our expense, you guys. So it was some. Critical. Sometimes we have really good moment. Some other time was not good. <laughs> I, I remember, for example, in Norway, this one it was a very crazy mission in Norway. Doing all of this was, as you know, is uh, Sandro Pereira inside uh, me on the right and toward. Uh, this was really crazy moment. So what I'm going to speak uh, during this session, so a lot of people asking me, so Nino, what are you going to speak about? Is the same of Integration Monday? <laughs> nope. So what? Even tab? Something, yeah. But please, Nino. Uh, OK. I'm going to speak about me. OK. <laughs> That's a surprise. Eh? Well, we don't care about you. OK, but I'm speaking about me, OK. My experience about integration, I would like to speak with you about integration. Because integration is a really mad, mad word. OK? What's I meaning with mad, mad word, guys? I think it's very complex word, integration, OK? You can do things in very different ways. You have to integrate a lot of different things. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's really complicated. Sometimes you just won't use your all, all, of kind, all kind of thing you have. I'm going to tell you a, a sample, OK? So yesterday, I was in the bar, OK, speaking with my friend, drinking, it was two days ago here, OK? And Tom, Tom Carter there, I love you, Carter. I love you, Tom. That's in metaphoric way, yeah, but I love you. And Tom said to me, so Nino, I want to take a picture. Yeah, come on, take a picture together. I mean, yeah, yes, Tom. And Tom came near, close to me, OK? I was there, come on, come on. And Tom started with the band. Cortana, take a picture, take a picture. I mean, what are you doing? He's speaking with the band to make a picture. 
So that's crazy, okay? So this is what they mean is we are going to use all possible things, integrate all possible things. Also Microsoft Band is speaking, integrate with the Microsoft phone, is able to take a picture and put the picture inside Twitter or somewhere or some other thing, okay? So, I mean, I'm working in integration, I think there are 20 years or more. I'm 49 years old, okay? So I'm started with Clipper and all this stuff, okay? And we started to integrate, okay, using, I mean, what? Before it was a file, okay? After that, do you remember ASP? We used ASP using POST. Ah, you was guy, oh, me, 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 okay? Yeah. <laughs> So using ASP, using POST, HTTP POST, ASP page, and so on. And now we have SMIX, adapter, WCF, REST convention over configuration. Okay, and now we have the Web API, Swagger and company. They start to invent all kinds of names known as Walker. Okay, by the way, you can use Walker. But what about my evolution? I'm an integrator. Okay, as you, I'm a developer. How many developers here? Woo, I love you guys. A lot of developers. So, I think in my experience as developer was, uh, okay, before I was, uh, I was blonde with blue eyes. Okay, just before us mix and be stock. Here is be stock. Okay, now I write be stock. Yeah, cool, be stock, be stock. This is the transformation. <laughs> now it's me. I lose all. I have so all, all of things. So what about now? Now we have a lot, a lot of things, thousands of things. Now we have Azure with, I mean, thousands of things. So this is my situation now. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. And this because this picture in my blog. Okay. This because this picture in my blog. So I'm start. okay, I need to understand what is going on here. Microservices, grandmother, grandfather, what I have to use? Okay, a lot, a lot of different things. But I mean, guys, just to think about that, what the most use is now? Uh, give me an answer. What? Service bus. <laughs> eh? I say, I, I listen. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Guys, I'm right or not? We have to be honest. Right, yes. So why? You know why? I'm start struggling and thinking why? Why? Why all companies still using file? to integrate things. Why? AS400, ASP, oh, oh, but a lot of companies still using file, why? Because it's simple to manage, it's fast to use, it's polymorphic. I can adapt the file where I want. All people know about the file. What is a file? A lot, a lot of people know about the file. It's persistent, and so on. It's also reliable. So, this is a classic, uh, integration scenarios, okay? This is uh, what we like to call spaghetti integration or something else, okay? All integrate all, and, okay? Just sending, no, I integrate you, you integrate me, 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 there, there, okay? This is what people like to call spaghetti integration, okay? And this one, okay, is a peer-to-peer. -peer. So, and, I, I found a lot of time these kind of scenarios, okay, in a lot of different customers. Huh? They just start to arrange, no? Just start to integrate things together, system together. Many times it's just application, something else, a custom, a lot of custom application together, right? This is one of the first approach, so peer-to-peer -peer spaghetti integration, okay. I'm not telling you this is right or wrong or something else. I'm just telling you that, okay? Another approach, sometime I'm going to see, is this one. It's just we have all the stack, right? They're using transport protocol and to integrate all of the things inside using an integration framework, 
all the logic there, all the room there, and so on. So this is it's a common integration scenario. Okay, it's one of the approach you can use. Another is this one. Okay, so we have all the integration point uh, here, and all the transport connect, all the transport, all the transport protocol and connector up. And also, we are going to provide something, okay? Because we have to proxy, to use some proxy mechanism, okay? To integrate things, right? This could be, for example, the Azure approach. Why not? And I like this approach, absolutely, okay? So, but uh, another thing is, what I would really like also about integration in general, integration framework, I would like to see the same of file sometime, okay? I would like to keep simple, okay? Using simple way, fast way, okay? I'm telling you, I'm not going to, to give you a solution or something. Absolutely not, okay? This is just an option, right? But this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I started six months ago to think and think and think about that, you know, and starting, okay, okay, what, well, what I can do? I don't know. So uh, six months ago, I met a really good guy and expert that was Dan Rosanova, he's here in front of me, here. He's a really specialist and guru <laughs> about Event Hub, and he presented me Event Hub. I'm starting to see this animal is an animal, okay? I start realizing, oh, come on, how, is, this is cool. And not just only the given tab. I was in Redmond six months ago, and I saw a lot, a lot of things, and I start to play with these things inside Azure. I start to play with even tab, to topic, to queue, job, and so on. And I realized that is now is very, very simple to use things inside Azure. It's really, really simple. Believe me, guys, okay? So, if I have to back in some one of the classic slide, okay? One of the classic slide about Azure is this one, okay? We have all the technology stack about Azure, okay? There are a lot, a lot, a lot of different things inside. But what I'm thinking is, I have another vision about that. I have not this vision about Azure, okay? My vision is this one. This, what I'm seeing when I'm thinking about Azure. This because Azure of things, okay? There are a lot of things inside Azure you are able to use together, together, okay? And if I have to just think in math mode about that, Okay, I can tell you without any problem that the power of Azure increase more, okay, if you are going to use more all the things together. So you have to think in this way. So I start to think in this way, and I start to develop, 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 develop. <laughs> Six months ago, because the NOS, God? <laughs> So what I'm going to do now? Develop, develop, develop. And you know, I like to improve my productivity, okay? So I'm not kidding you guys, and I think uh, this is a good idea also for all of you developers. I bought a mouse, a gaming mouse, okay? I, <laughs> and optimizing all the Visual Studio stuff just with the button and the gaming mouse. <laughs> it's really fast, guy. You have to do that. That's crazy. That's crazy. And so I start develop, develop, and I start to create this idea. I like to call this uh, JIT gate, okay? And what is JIT gate? It's a just-in-time gate, okay? It's just-in-time gate. You are able to use inside the machine, everywhere. Not only inside your machine, every kind of machine you want. And this animal here, is able to use all this technology stack, is using this technology stack. Not a framework, JSON, REST, PowerShell, Rosling, Visual Studio Extension, also Swagger, and all of this is based on event tabs. 
okay, is a mechanism of trigger and event. Okay, is an event propagation pattern. Okay, so you are using and <laughs> I'm laughing because there is Dan is laughing here. <laughs> Sorry, please, Dan. <laughs> uh, I mean, you are able to integrate things just using all of this stuff, even tab, blob, topic, Q table. And I'm using also work and roll, stream analytics, and I will API apps. I mean, going. So what I'm presenting you, I'm still in developing. I mean, 60% of code now. Okay, 60% of code, right? So what event tab is? Do you know what is event tab? Yes or no? Up there, yes? How many? Okay. By the way, event tab is a, is a stream platform, is a message ingestor, is able to receive one million messages per second. Guys, I'm speaking about, I'm telling you, one million messages per second. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I try to do that. It's true. It's true. Okay, I just using a throughput, 20 throughput unit from my laptop, and I send 20,000 messages per second from my laptop. Okay? Because it's 1,000 messages per throughput unit. But you can just use 1,000 throughput units. I mean, just. Ask to Microsoft to have more. This is not a problem. So I think it's quite awesome. And they even tab be using a concept of consumer group receiving and so on. So I start to think, oh, God, this is awesome. So I can start using even tab as in public subscribing scenarios and using uh, even propagation. I want to use that. I want to create something to help me about my job inside the integration, okay? One, for example, the best use about EventTab is this one, because EventTab is able to integrate a lot of things inside the show. So I am able to send a message inside EventTab by using stream analytics to push the event in some SQL, table, blob storage, and so on, okay? This is awesome, right? So what the JITGATE is? JITGATE is using this pattern, is an event propagation, okay? You are going to install these things, and you are able to use event and trigger to integrate things together. And you are able to create a trigger on event in very simple way, because you know, I like to keep simple. So you can use a monkey developer and develop a trigger <laughs> without any problem, believe me. I'm a monkey developer, so I'm able to do that. So the best vision about JITGATE is this one. Okay, this is JITGATE. This is the concept of JITGATE. What is able to do is able to is an event propagation base, and logically, I mean, is multiple protocol transport, but is based on event tab. This is the base. Okay, in general. And also, public subscribing scenarios, all kind of public, is high scale, because we are speaking about a million of messages per second. If we want to send, if we want to manage this level of message. Eh? And high traded performance. JITGATE is able to, I, I have a performance counter inside the service, so I tried the test, okay, is able to, to fire 200,000 events per second. Okay, 200,000 events per second. So the mechanism inside this little animal is, I'm going to fire a trigger, I'm going to execute this trigger, I'm going to map the trigger with the event. And I can do that every kind part of the world. That's crazy. If you think about that, it's crazy. Because in this way, I'm, for example, send a file, in very simple way from here to Tokyo, using even tab or blob or something else. In very, very fast way, right? So, other thing is convention over configuration because logically I care about that. So I'm exposing a web API We're able to drive the service, okay? I'm able to fire some particular trigger if I want. 
A G point is a point of integration, is a multiversion, is an empty service, is a console application. Now it's a console application. I'm going to show you the console application version so you are able to see message all the things, okay, inside. <laughs> is uh, using an automatic synchronization. This is quite complex to explain, but when you are going to deploy a trigger, you are going to, to, put, to use a certificate inside the trigger. What is a trigger? A trigger is a class, a .NET class. So you are using code.NET in a very simple way to create this trigger. You are going to sign this assembly, just copy the assembly inside the, the folder, and all the service, if the class is uh, Targ is, uh, is uh, tagged as shared, is going to synchronize with all the service around. Okay, so after that, you are able to use this event without doing anything more. This is awesome. This is awesome. And I'm seeing the face of guys, some guys say, I know, it's quite strange. It's quite strange. It's quite strange, guy. I know, I know. But I think it's awesome, it's fantastic. Okay, okay, it's stream based. I'm going just to move uh, also to create a console application in Visual Studio and so on. So, after the trigger and event feature, event to event, trigger to trigger. Uh, you have no idea. I, I can't spend one day just speaking about that, but I can't. I would like that to show you. Okay, we can, if you agree with me, I would like to, to do some demos and explain you, okay, what is going to do. And we will back. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you some slide here. The get started is just download, install, and run. And all the JIT point is going to synchronize together, okay? And the provisioning, provisioning is quite faster because I already have the template. This demo is my template. I have a lot of trigger here. I'm able to integrate all I want here. Okay, you will see what I'm going to integrate. <laughs> this is quite crazy for some scenarios. Okay, but I can build my trigger, build my trigger, copy my trigger inside the folder, okay, and the service is going to use it. Okay, and start the synchronization together, right? After that, I'm going to configure the trigger and the event. How? I'm using JSON, right? All trigger and event configuration is based on JSON. Why? Because I would like to have a framework we're able to extend. So I, in this case, I'm able to create an administration console in any kind of platform I want, Visual Studio, .NET, all I want, because it's just to manage JSON file. Okay, it's serializable, I can do all I want. Also the configuration inside the service, using JSON. And after the configuration, it started to fire trigger and action together. Okay, and mapping all together. The trigger activation is just in different way, because in integration I need to start a trigger or adapter Okay, in different way. One could be using REST API. Okay, I can use a browser or something else. Or can use a polling system. Because I need to do some polling. For example, the famous our SQL BSTOCK adapter, you know? Stay in polling. This kind of approach I need to use. Okay? Another is as a single instance. For example, I need just to have a REST service or WCF service. Okay? Or Q, topic, because I stay there waiting something from a topic, okay, on Azure. And even Tendler, way. So he's able to inject inside as even Tendler, okay? So I'm able to use this kind of approach, for example, using even fewer, ETW, or RFID, for example, okay? After that, I'm going to fire the trigger. The trigger is going to execute action, action using property, and the trigger fire other event. Could be one or multiple event in general. Okay? Action, action. And a single event can also 
fire other event. I can propagate this kind of event where I want. Take present that I can fire all of this one, this trigger where I want because I'm using cloud. I have no any problem to that. Okay, but what I start thinking was I would like also to use a rule because sometimes I need a rule. Okay, in dynamic way, I just going to take a decision or something. Okay, I need to manage something. Okay, so I can fire a rule somewhere. And by the rule, I can start and create a correlation as fire an event in some other place in the world. OK? So at the end, all of this could be executed in different parts of the world. OK? Demos. Are you ready for the demos? Yeah. We can try with one of the first demos. This is quite, uh, because I know you guys. I know what is going on here. Uh, duplicate. You duplicate. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. So, I know you guys. You don't trust me. Okay, you don't trust me. So, just uh, just to be you know easy, you know, because I know you don't trust me. I just start a virtual machine on the cloud. Okay. So one, one of the services inside my machine, another one is inside a virtual machine in the cloud. OK? So you have two different environments using the cloud together, right? <laughs> so <laughs> you know why I'm just laughing, because I'm going to start. You know this tool? Yeah. This is Visual Studio. I'm going to start. <laughs> So now the service is going to start. This is JIT gating going to start. This is the console version. So you are able just to see something, OK, running. And now it's running. So what I want to do now, we can start with, uh, do you want to start with some crazy things or simple things? Crazy, simple. OK, simple. I, I have three simple and one crazy. So go for simple. <laughs> So one of the simple is this one. I'm going to explain you this one. Uh huh. Okay. Let me just open this way. Uh, 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 uh. Document. The studio. This is in real time, guys. Also the demos. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> so being the back. Okay. Because I'm a developer. So I don't care. <laughs> So this is the first trigger. It's very simple trigger configure. This is one, and this one is a JSON file. Okay. So I'm going. I configure this trigger. Okay. This trigger is a receiving file. It's the same old file adapter of this talk. I configure this trigger to receive uh, for this extension txt. Okay. And from this path, and I just ask him. Okay, please. Just rename the extension of the file. This is one pattern. I can do all I want, OK? So do you want to know about the trigger? The trigger is this one. Event and trigger. This one, let me just check, because I have a lot, a lot of things. Hey, this one. OK, this is one trigger. So what I'm going to do is you have to create a class. You have to use an interface, logically, you have to use an interface. You just only have to enrich your class using these properties. So in this case, I'm going just to <laughs> explain to my service, this is a trigger, man, please. So just take care about that, right? And inside this, I have all of my configuration about the behavior of trigger. Is polling, is shared, is not shared, all of these things, right? And also, I'm able to create all kind of properties inside the trigger just using this property inside the class. OK? And I have an execute event. I have a data context. This is at least, I need to have at least one data context. This is our message context, OK, in general. 
Okay, but I can create all property I want. So the powerful of this mechanism is also that when I'm going to execute a trigger an event, the engine is going to map all together also. So I can manage this kind of mapping between trigger and event together. So I, I will just, I mean, this is, I did, this is crazy. This is crazy. Now I'm going to show you what happened. Because I have an event, okay, also. The event is a write a file. It's very simple. Do you want to check the code? The code is this one. This is because I said you also a monkey developer as me is able to create one. <laughs> okay, this is the write event. I'm creating some property because I just need to tell him Oh, where I'm going to write a file, the name, or I can do all I want. It's very simple, okay? The concept is simple, guys. This is a template. But you can extend this idea as you want, okay? And the execute event is very stupid event. Okay? Now, right. It's just using the data context. Because all the event and trigger are using this data context together. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is this things. I'm going to execute the Git gate here. Okay. Hope about the network, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to use my phone. <laughs> I used before. <laughs> okay. Now we have one is here, another is here. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to send the file. Okay, the file was configured here. I have one directory, is the London Summit, the most simple file. Check this out. Okay. Okay, would like you see this one. So you are able to see both the service together. Okay, copy it. Check this out. I just use the cloud to do that. Eh? I sent a file from my machine to a virtual machine inside the cloud. Okay, this using event tab. Okay, I know, I think most of you that start thinking, okay, so, so I'm going to tell you what I'm able to do with these things now. So I can do the same thing sending a file of 100 megabyte without any problem. Because the system is using a reliable system inside the cloud, right? <laughs> OK, because even Tab is a very, very fast engine, but there is a, a limit inside the event tab. It's correct. We have a limit because you have to be really powerful as performance. It's 256 key, kilobyte, OK, per message or batch three messaging, OK? So also, I'm using some other stuff inside the cloud, as blob and so on, to send all I want, OK? Now we are going to do one crazy scenario. This is crazy. So what I start thinking was, one day, I had this, this little thing. Do you know about that? What is it? This is an RFID reader. You know? OK? So I used this time ago with Microsoft when I was virtual TS around Italy, make demos and so on, project with RFID. So I just keep this one and start to think, OK, I can do that to make a scenarios, OK? So my scenarios will be this one. I want to give you a challenge. This is a challenge. My personal challenge for you guys is OK, I would like uh, to use this RFID reader, integrate this RFID reader in a very easy way. OK, I would like uh, to send a message when I'm going to use this tag, to send a message in another machine. And I would like to execute something in another machine, OK, and also execute a rule in this other machine. And just depending by the rule, I would like to fire an event in some other machine. OK? How much do you need to do that? I mean, it's not so simple to do in, OK? I, believe me, guys, I am able to do that with these things in no more than one hour. 
starting from scratch and developing also the trigger for this one is five line of code. Okay, right? So what I did is I configured a trigger in this machine, we able to send the event to the Azaza machine in the cloud. In the other machine in the cloud, I created an event. This is for a sample, but it's quite crazy. And this event is going to execute a dialog box. Say, so, wow, yeah, a dialog box. Because I'm just asking to another person, so please, can this person enter in this room? Yes or not? If he's able to enter in this room, he's going to decide yes, and I would like to send another event where? In my machine here. Because my machine here, containing the event, we able to send a message using Twilio. Eh? Eh? Oh, people. Thing is crazy. What is going to tell? I'm going to show you. Check this out. Okay, start this one. I don't remember if I activate or not the event, but we will see. This is not a problem. Okay, let me check the sound in the phone. This is quiet or not? Yes, was quiet. Okay, put the phone here. I'm not touching the phone. Eh? The same, so you don't see this show a magician, <laughs> by the way. Okay, trigger ready. <laughs> I'm feeling myself saying, you know, Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> what I'm going to create, guys? That's crazy. Okay, now I just only need to decide yes or not. Okay, okay, I'm going to decide yes. Check this out. Yes. Okay, there is a debug. Uh, ah, breakpoint. So cool. So you can just see the code in real time. That's cool. This is going to execute. You know what? The rule engine is based in .NET using Roslyn. So, <laughs> and see then, ah, then, that's crazy. So you are able to create your rule just using .NET. And the rule, where is the rule? Inside the trigger JSON file. I'm going to show you the rule. OK? So now I'm going to execute Roslyn here. Yeah? This is the event, the trigger. I don't want to explain you now about the detail. OK? Check. In the other service. <laughs> it's quite cool or not, guys? Come on. This is awesome. This is crazy. I think this is crazy. But now I'm going to scare you. <laughs> uh, yes, because you know I'm not going up, up, up. OK? How many people just like, for example, to play? With, I mean, just uh, many people just play with even tab and so on. So they start, uh, let me check this out. Okay. This one, okay, okay. This one, this is one is quite crazy. Event viewer trigger. Okay. I'm able to receive a, a trigger from an event viewer, um, an event from an event viewer. I can send this event where I want. For example, I don't want to annoy you now with some other, for example, this one to send a text message. So I'm going to check the event viewer and telling, okay, I want, if I'm going to receive some event about this source, I would like to send a message. I can use all kinds of service I want, right? But I can do some more complex things if I want. For example, I can use Ah, uh, this one, okay, where is, where is? This one, I like it. I want to show you this one. Event viewer to event tab, because we are going to play with Azure. Okay. Now I'm running just to, okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, to catch all the event, 
from event viewer for this particular resource. Okay? All of this information are inside the JSON file. Okay? It's not about the code or something. This code is generic. It's generic. And I configure a trigger. So is, this trigger is a, in, is a event handler trigger. So it's just stay there. Okay? Waiting event from the event viewer. Nothing more. And I configure an event. We're able to send event to the event tab. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is this. I open one test here. London Summit, demos, no, sorry, area 51. <laughs> this is my awesome form. <laughs> OK. I'm going to send an event. OK, event sent. You say, OK, Nina, and, and now? Yeah, now, because I forgot to start the receiver. <laughs> Run as administrator. OK. Oh, gosh, it's not running. So why? Oh, demo effect. So, but now, what I'm going to do, do you think I'm scared about that? <laughs> no, nothing. OK, probably there is a fire, firewall or something that is going just to close okay, the connection. But I can do other things in this way, because I configure a stream analytic inside the zone. We're able to catch the event from the event tab. So what I'm going to do now is to send event to an event viewer inside the machine. This trigger is going to send event inside the event tab. And I have a stream analytics is going to save all of this event inside a stable storage in Azure. OK? You can do this in a very simple way. So I'm going to send 10 events or something. It's quite fast, eh? I don't know, guys. This is 10. OK, go to 400. OK. Right? This is going just, don't see about, just see the message box. Not there or something. OK? And I'm going to do that. Hope it's working, because with this connection, it's quite OK. I configure. Do you want to see to check about the stream analytics, how it's working? Are you care about that? OK. Just one minute. Stream analytics is very simple to use. Uh, stream analytics is awesome, very simple. So let me just open stream analytics. I just configured this, uh, this uh, one. Sorry, it's very OK. Insert event. OK. I'm going to have an input. And the input is my event tab. OK. I'm going to query the event tab. The event tab, because I'm going to serialize the event. OK. I'm going to serialize the event in JSON from event viewer. OK and send just the event to the event tab. What you have to do, you have just only have to create a stream analytics, configure this query inside the stream analytics. So I'm going just to tell, please take all the event, select source message, message in the machine, and so on, from event London Summit. This is the, just the stream I created before. OK. And the output is this one. This is the output. It's a table storage. <coughs> But the cool thing about, for example, about the stream analytics, you are able to use also SQL Server. OK? It's a SQL Server table, for example. It's quite cool, OK? Or Blob. OK? It's quite nice. So I just sent this event. And now I'm going back here. Check this out. OK? Send this event. Right? This is quite simple to do. OK? I like that. I really like that. So another sample, what time is it? 45. I'm there. It's finished, the session. OK, by the way. So uh, last thing I want to tell you that this, this service 
is able to do a lot, a lot of things. What I'm speaking to you is, what I'm telling you is about, for example, check about all of the other. I'm not able to show you all the demos because there are a lot, a lot of things here to show you if you want. But check here. Trigger. I can also, this one is just to send a bulk insert from in SQL Server. I tried this one in, by my, in my home, just using my net in my home. I am able to send one million record, SQL Server, one million SQL Server record, okay? Just using a bulk insert operation, using trigger and event. So I'm going to send one million record from this machine to another machine. Because also inside, there is a compressed algorithm inside, the, not just about the byte, but it's going to compress all the stream inside the service. So it's quite cool, okay? And there is also a topic. So maybe I have other scenarios going to use topic, using topic and correlation and using, for example, check this out. This is one demo, is able to use a topic. So I'm receiving event from event viewer, and I'm sending the event in a topic inside the cloud, and I have another event is going to wait with this subscription event from the topic. I can do all I want and fire other event inside the, 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 the other machine or the other environment. Okay? I don't want there are a lot of things to do, but to, to tell you, but I don't have the time. By the way, so now. What I'm telling you is, uh, okay, what I'm going to do in the next is this one, my pipeline, my personal pipeline. I am at 60% of code. What I'm going to do, because I'm just using my evening, okay? My wife is so happy, <laughs> okay? And sometimes I spend, I spend a lot, a lot of time inside the event tab, all this stuff. You have no idea. Sometimes I'm going to wake up during the night uh, screaming, hey, man! <laughs> My wife, no, 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 honey, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, honey, it's nothing. Just keep sleeping, okay, no, okay, okay. But my pipeline is one. Now he's back to Italy and take relax, and back in the UK and do some skateboard, because I need to do some skateboarding now. I need to relax. And I'm going to implement a multi-event hub distribution, because I would like to use multi-event hub also. And login system inside is still using a login system. All the thing inside the service is totally dynamic. I can, I am able to configure this service to use an uh, event tab for logging, ETW, for example. Okay? I can also use just the trigger inside the service, what the problem is. Okay? Without any problem. And I'm going to develop some more trigger and template in very fast way. are not very complete, complete template. It's just to drive the developer to understand, okay, the concept about what they need to do. Because the, the, the powerful of this thing, the power is that you are able also to do a application mediation in very simple way. This is the real power thing. I'm going to integrate all I want. I didn't show you one thing about that. This is quite cool. <laughs> yeah, this one. Check this one. I got that. Now you are scared about that. Okay. So, how many admin? How many administrators in this room? How many? Okay. Now, using this kind of pattern, you are able to integrate things. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. Because he's able to use JSON and PowerShell together. So, for example, this trigger is able to do the same thing you have seen before about uh, catch the event from the event viewer, but not using .NET or something, but using PowerShell. This is the PowerShell code to catch the event from the event viewer. And you can just use the PowerShell to create trigger. So you don't care about the, I'm not a beast, I'm not .NET developer, but I'm a really strong person about PowerShell. So just use PowerShell to integrate things. I also have a, another demo using to catch file from a directory, it's the same, 
but using PowerShell and not .NET. OK? So the other is transformation. I'm going to implement transformation logic to create mapping using XSLT, for example, or other mechanisms. OK? Is uh, object, object, uh, object mapping. OK? It's two different things. One is XSLT, and another is object mapping. OK? And also the NT version, I'm going to close the NT version, and Visual Studio Extension console inside to manage the service remotely. Right? Clustering and worker role version, because I would like to do this as worker role in the cloud. OK? So this is a gift for you. It's a present for all of you. If you want to care about uh, something more about the event tab, OK? This is one my personal laboratory I used during this job, OK? Inside this code, you can find a lot of different scenarios using event tab, OK? Different subscription, this a different user group, a lot of different stuff, OK? So enjoy the code, OK? This is my present for you, because just you stay here to, for me, OK? <laughs> so this is all. This is my contact. And it was a great pleasure, guys, OK? Thank you.